Hello there. We're on day 10. Day 10 is uh, slightly longer, not too much longer, hopefully. It's an anaconda. It's an anaconda deep near the center of the core of the galaxy with many, many, many stars. I spent ages planning this one out in pencil because anaconda is a really detailed ship. It's, it's super complex. It, 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 it takes ages. And um, when I first started drawing spaceships, I, I'm not given to drawing angular mechanical things. Some people can just like effortlessly draw these beautifully analysed and measured and perfect things and it, it just doesn't come naturally to me. I'm very much, I like drawing round things and especially if they don't have firm lines around the outside I'm happiest then. But I do also sometimes when you've got your, your pointy brain in, you, you, it's nice to get accurate neat shapes down and, and first you plan out the big general planes of the geometric triangles and squares that make up the main area and then you start you start dividing those up when you know that they're proportioned correctly and you divide them into smaller bits and then finally you start looking at surface pattern and and it is satisfying if you've got a bit of time it is really nice and then of course obviously because I'm stupid I, I stick a load of paint over the top of it all so you can't see it I did play around with liquid latex on this, which is always satisfying. Splashing liquid latex on and then painting over it with watercolour paint. And then once it's all dry, you rub off the latex and it reveals the stars, which, because I didn't do it on white paper, didn't work. So I had to then put the stars in with white paint anyway. So the Anaconda is just the archetypal exploration ship. This one uh, is a fuel wrap ship. It's owned by a friend of mine. It's called Fuel Plus on the side of it. And I accompanied this Anaconda to uh, impressive places like uh, Sagittarius A star uh, in my measly crate, which I was happy with. And it was a lot cheaper. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye.